Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Get Jack. Now today, we're here. We're in Last Oasis. It's finally here. They uh, were generous enough to hook us up with a copy before the game came out. We got to play it, you know, in the in the early server. So here we are. I apologize if things, you know, if they might have changed a few things here and there um, between when the new servers came out and when the content creators won content creator ones went down so i apologize if there's any changes but i had a blast playing um it was really fun now i kind of went in blind there was no info uh, ahead of time because i think they were under an nda and stuff like that at, you know previous to when the content creator servers came out so i kind of learned everything as i went so i i usually find that's the best way to to present it to, to you know it's always easier to like kind of learn as you go and then you know that's the best way to remember stuff right so uh, i'm gonna kind of bring you through my experience i played i would say what, what one of my normal survival game days would be i played for like eight hours one day and maybe six hours the next or something like that so you know that that's usually what i play in one day especially when servers release or something like that so i'd say like this is like a one day thing um i just you know didn't rush it all in one day because i was you know i was actually enjoying it and the ability to pick up your base and stuff in this is awesome so anyway um last oasis is a survival game brand new uh to the to the, the genre in my opinion after trying all early access survival games this has got the best launch it's definitely the most fluid and uh, well put together but i'm gonna stop talking about it. i'm just gonna show you as we go you'll learn from my experiences we're gonna get from early to mid game all right guys we're in last oasis I'm learning the first walker. I figured I'd just start off here, not like in the middle. I don't know. We're, we've been going through the tutorial. Obviously, if you ever played like Seven Days to Die or something like that, the best way to get going is to do that tutorial. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna follow this to the to the key. To the key? Is that a, that's not a saying. I think I just made that up. I'm gonna follow it to the note that is, and let's place this thing. So we've got, this is the first walker. So you, instead of, I mean, obviously, a lot of you know Ark and stuff like that, if you've been on the channel. Instead of dinos and stuff like that, you build walkers. I'd say this is a... It feels like a mix between Atlas and Conan Exiles. We'll find out if that's a good thing. Okay, so I am out of... Oh, I need more. Okay, one sec. I need more. Fiber? Fiber. We need more fiber. So, we're just... I don't know. We're going to try and get out to the... There's a hard map here on the servers. I want to get out there. That's the goal. We'll just see how far we can get. If we can get uh, armor. See if we can even survive as a solo player. You know what I mean? Everybody I've seen is playing in pretty big groups and stuff like that. And yeah, that's definitely more ideal. I think you definitely want people to man your, your guns and stuff like that. Okay, so we're just, okay, we are just get wood off the ground. We've got cactus, which is top top priority i think water is going to be the currency which makes sense it is the desert so uh yeah let me get some water going okay i have crafted our dry built the this. waters because there can be no rest keep only what you need abandon everything that cannot be carried all right man uh we are flintstone in it it looks like Oh, uh, that's great. You you lose Stam while driving, so gotta keep that in mind. We've got these monkey dudes spawning over here. They haven't been too big of an issue. I've actually just been killing them uh, whenever they spawn. You get shard shards and just kind of like some random resources from them, which is good. I hate when the survival games put in these AI and stuff that don't. So we can't. Okay, we actually have to upgrade this. So all right. We want to get all these upgrades probably, but we should probably start with the water one. Looks like it has a little bit of a time, and we can store water now. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> give me that hide. Okay, these give hide the little things. Okay, it's cool. You can actually build on the, the thing. My first cooking pot I did not put on my walker but we're gonna, we're gonna probably do that from now on now what's going on here oh okay 
So you can actually, when you, when you, when you queue things up, okay, that's what was confusing me. When you queue things up, we got other people building walkers. We're getting out of the starting zone, by the way. It doesn't necessarily mean you have the resources for it. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I wish the cooking pot would only let you queue up what you have in it, not go over. That's kind of weird. What is this thing? That was an accident. Okay, so you want to come to little landmarks and stuff like that. Gave me a couple fragments. Nothing big. This is right in the starter zone. I don't know if they're going to be scattered throughout the map or what. That's not marked or anything. Okay. I unlocked clothing. I figured that would be something that we probably want to get first. Because not dying when you're solo is number one priority. Where are you going, dude? Let me get this hide. Make these. We gotta unlock the head wrap here still. So I think we should probably get basic clothing and then focus on walker stuff and crafting stuff. I'm not gonna focus too too much on the, the PvP gear and whatnot because if we run across some people right now, we're gonna run. I'm gonna be real with you. We're gonna run. So we're, not, we're gonna focus on defense. I like the combat. Very similar to. I mean, it's, it's not similar to anything, but it is a directional-based combat. Similar to, like... I just said similar again. Shit. My bad. It's not really close to anything. I want to say, like, Mordau or something like that, but that is way more in-depth. Especially with the shields. Uh, and Yeah, there's a lot more complicated stuff going on with that. But I do like this. It is... It's simple enough, but... They can... They, these monkey dudes, they can mess you up. Okay. So I want to get all the upgrades on my car, my car, my car, and then we'll move on to the next. We're going to get out of here as quick as possible. I do not want to be in the starting zone. I always feel like that's a bad idea. Medium. We'll go to the medium area. Okay. So to move to other maps and stuff, we need water. So we're going to have to build that up as we go. Our current task... Okay, I did not expect that to go so fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, you can have my car. See ya. Um, yeah, the current task is to clear some of these camps. We, we need to clear them out. Get the resources. Or the valuables or whatever the heck they have in here. And that is our mission. So once we do that, we'll probably peace out of here. Depending on what the next quest is. Okay. I think he actually hit his his friend over here. Let's loot these as we go, because otherwise I'll forget where they're at. So, we need to clear out these camps. Looks like they spawn just like loot and monkey man. Ape men, whatever you want to call them. I'm, feel, I'm, uh, I'm digging the planet of the, the apes vibes going on over here. Alright, homie. We need to learn the combat system. Or not learn. I get what's going on here, but... I need to get better at it. I'm just going to have to remain keeping our health high. Okay. It was a little bit of a struggle to get into this, I'm not going to lie. The grappling hooks could use maybe a little bit of an adjustment. <laughs> they, uh, okay, so we got a, okay, we got a weapon out of that. So, okay. Definitely worth hitting these up early. Not like that crazy good for how many beings I needed to slay to get in here, but, you know. Oh, look at that. That wasn't the 20th time of trying to get up here. That was the first time. Duh. Right, let's see what we got in here. I'm trying to give you a good idea of some of the loot you can expect from these things. What the hell? Where is this thing? Oh, there we go. Okay, you can get some uh, basic gear. All right, so all the shards we're getting, that's all gonna be just used for research and stuff, which is interesting. And and you can lose your shards too if somebody kills you. So spend them when you can, right? Okay, I've got cargo, water, hatch, and mobility all set. We just need the last one. Hold up. And we've got everything for it. I'm thinking, you know, if we have to use smaller walkers because we are solo, you can't really man like the big ones, or it's not really 
I don't think beneficial for us to man the big ones. I think our best bet is to just upgrade these things. Like our upgrade our small ones, like as big as or as big as good as possible. Instead of just making the big ones and just having them basic, you know? Then we can probably outrun people. Alright, we've got everything upgraded now. How do we How do we actually get more upgrades? That's the question. But either way, um, we need to do one more camp and then we out of here. I've killed everything that we need to kill. I'm trying to make my way towards the edge so that once we find this last one, I see one over there maybe. No, that, that looks like blue. Okay, once we find this last one and then we out of here. We out of the easy zone. I want to find something interesting. Can we hit these guys? Yo. Oh, what? Okay. I don't think we can run him over. And he tried to net me or something, but missed. Hey. That's how you put the wings on these things, too. Oh, that's cool. So, wait. Did I actually build them, or... I didn't actually build them. Wood shaft, fiber weave. I'm assuming this makes us faster. Boom. Ba bam that looks cool. That, that looks really cool. I wish you could add as many wings as you wanted. I need like 40 wings in this thing. Alright. Are we faster? We're still Flintstone in it, but I feel like we should be like pedaling the wings, you know what I mean? I feel like our, our feet should be doing that. No, you don't hit that one. Okay, so I actually got... The whole set. So your, uh, your. It looks like your chest and your legs are on the same armor scheme. It says chest and trousers. So it looks like those go together. You're not gonna get separate pieces. And then you got legs and and uh, hat. But yeah, you do get gear from these. Um, slow way to get shards for sure. Especially when you gotta beat it with a stick. One fragment. Uh, yeah, I didn't just fall down the hill. Oh, that didn't just happen. D don't you worry about that. <laughs> Alright, we're going up here. We're getting off of this map. We've, uh, cleared our camps. It wants us now to get off the map, which is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to do anyway. And, yeah. I'm saving up my shards for a pickaxe, by the way. I think the pickaxe is what we need, because we're gonna need stone and stuff like that for a lot of the, the new stuff. Alright, so what's cool is it takes water to actually travel to these places. The further away, the more water it takes. It's a cool concept, actually. And uh, also, to respawn on your walker or whatever, you need water in it, and then it consumes water to respawn. So it kind of costs... has a cost to dying. There's a cost to death in this game. It's pretty crazy. Alright, so, we're here. I saved up enough for... Oh, that one needs a hundred. I say we make it to that hundred one. That's the goal. Um, but I saved up 35 for this one. Should we want to go here? Should we want to go here? All right, let's do it. And then we'll go to that next one after. We'll kind of make our way to the edge. See what we can farm over here. So it, it's just another server. Very similar to Atlas, it looks like. So you, dr you drive to the border. Once you get there, you're going to the next region or server. Which is cool. I think it's uh, probably the, the best way to do it to reduce lag and stuff like that. The flotilla. They are keepers of our new, uh, knowledge. They new oasis, oasis, guys. Pretty sweet. And we've got a trade station, it looks like. Only point of interest here, it looks like. Definitely, definitely different setup here. Okay, I made the fiber working station. Let me put this. I want to put this here. I want to pick this up.
we'll use that later. But I just wanted to get that all set. So you can move things around by packing and unpacking them. So drag with harpoon. Okay, we're gonna have to get a harpoon. Which means we're gonna need like a ballista and a harpoon for this one. It's the first one of this type that I've seen at least. Alright, I've taken a vision potion. If you're following the storyline, they, they basically hook you up with the, the way to get the vision potion and, and blah blah blah. You need some large cactus, whatever. I don't really get the point of the, the vision potion. So, I take this and now I can craft the next walker? But why couldn't I just unlock the walker and craft it anyway? That's what I don't get. So there's a whole bunch of these. Some of them are even locked where you can't see them. Stiletto. Nomad. There's a whole bunch of walkers in here. But we're going to learn the dinghy. The little dinghy. And uh, let's... Uh-oh. I hope my potion isn't worn off where I can't do this or something. I don't get the point of the potion. Like, couldn't I just craft this anyway? Didn't it look like the potion's worn off? Oh! That was not intentional. Um, can we... Destroy one of these? Disassembling. Doesn't seem to be disassembling. What have I done? Oh, okay. You need to you need to select it. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Alright, let's see how far we can craft this thing with what we've got. I've got some resources. Alright, hold up, hold up. Should be able to do some more here. So this is the next step up. We'll probably stop at this one. Let's be real. Let's like stop at this one, but deck it out to the max, you know what I mean? Why can't I crit? Oh, okay. On the right? Okay. It was confusing me. I thought I had this stuff, but I didn't. Alright. What we need is this pickaxe. We need three more shards to get the pickaxe. Then we should be set. If we've got every tool, I think we're good. Okay, aloe vera grows out here. Uh, I think it's going to be very useful. I don't know what it's for. Let's be real. Let's be real. I don't know what it's for. But these give bone splinters, which is what I've been looking for. It's basically what I need to craft or to... I need, what is it for? Some of the upgrades in the thing? Yeah, some of the upgrades. Does this give me anything? No. There seem to be a lot more camps here in the next kind of area. So definitely different than the starter zone. See on your pot. I'm taking it. You better be pissed. You can kind of get them stuck on terrain and stuff like that. Not terribly. It's not as bad as other survival games. This is just this is just giving me like basic resources, really. Yeah, it's not as bad as other ones that I've played, but as you can see, they definitely do get stuck on like walls and stuff. So you can kite them around. This doesn't give me anything. All right, these aren't really worth, I would say, grabbing. This might be the. This might be. Rupu effigy. Rupu gel. Three fragments. Okay, that's what you want to go to in these camps then. Yo, come here. Alright, we can finally make a pickaxe. Oh god. Things are happening. Alright. So we got a pickaxe. Now we can farm everything efficiently. I think, right? I don't think, you know, swinging harder does anything. Yeah, you get that rock. Oh. Alright, so yeah, we needed the bone splinters for pretty much all of these upgrades. These do not take basic resources, like the next tier of upgrades. They take, you know, some advanced stuff. Okay, I assembled the walker, but you're not done. You are not done, okay? You need to add four legs to this thing. And two wings, so... We don't have enough sticks. Wood shafts, sorry. Wood shafts. We don't have enough shafts. And we need to be able to make these. So, what we need is this, like, woodworking thing, I think. Let me go in here. We go to 
crafting. I saw it up in here yeah, somewhere. Okay, wood shafts. Okay, since we have to learn this to, to do wood shafts, I'm assuming you make it in here. Yes, we make it in here. So we need to get this. I think that would be, instead of, you know, just scraping by, getting these wood shafts from killing the Rupus, which is where I've been getting all of these, I think it would be probably better to get an automated process. So I think that's our next plan of action. Let's get that going, and then we can speed this up a bit. Thirty-four fiber. Hmm. Wait. Oh wait. Was that what I picked up? Did that give me anything? Actually. Oh, it gave me this. Okay. Yeah. These things are not really worth it. The ones where we gotta climb in. The small ones. But we need these bone fragments. All right. I learned it. We got it. Woodworking station. Took a bit. It took a bit to get these shards, dude. We need to get out of this area. It is not that easy to get shards around here. All of the, the little villages and stuff, they don't give you that much. Alright, we've got uh, sticks. Or wood shafts. We've got shafts coming out. I've got one more leg to go. Okay. I learned storage bin so that we can put a storage bin on this bad boy. But it is... It's done. I don't know what to do with this one, though. Like, what do we do with our smaller one? <laughs> if you're alone. Like, what are we supposed to do with this thing? Uh, anyway, it is complete. I haven't gone up there yet. I I wish there was, like, an easy way to get up, but it doesn't look like there is. I think I've completed everything, right? It looks done. But there's no way up. Cool. All right. Uh, we can't put anything in the storage. We can't, what? We can't do anything? All right. Bare bones. Let's see here. Let's move this out of the way. Alright, I made a sickle. I know that before I said I had all the tools, but I didn't know a sickle existed. Okay. It is not so easy to get up here. I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I need to get used to this grappling hook. I feel like it is not my type of thing. So we need to get some of this stuff quick. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so when you upgrade your hatch... It actually is a, it's like a, a storage place for gear. And when you spawn, it's just going to put all the gear right on you. So you don't spawn naked and scared running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You've got gear. Just don't put repair hammers in there. Okay. I've got a feeling we want a small water bag. Just like, you know, something chill, something, something nice to put some water in. And we need to build base structures for our next task here. Yo, 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 no, no, no. Okay. That was close. My health is pretty low. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I think that's all we needed for the task. Perfect. I moved everything a little bit closer to, you know, the stuff over here. I was kind of like in the middle of the desert. It was a little annoying. But I've seen a ton of people around, so I think it was kind of smart to set it up there because we're kind of away from everybody. Everybody's kind of over here. Okay, we can put one of these on here now. Let's just want go center, huh? Nope, that's not how you place it. <laughs> Gotta click. Now, is this secure? Like, is somebody gonna be able to take stuff out of here? I'm gonna put all my best stuff, I think, in the walker itself, and we'll just put, like, normal stuff in here. But this will help. I've got the, the fiber working station on the front. It looks like a boat wheel. It's pretty awesome. Pretty epic. Uh, sh what is all that stuff? I need to learn, like, the UI and stuff, man. All right. So, we're going to leave our our dude behind. I don't, I don't know what to do with him. I hope you have a good life. second let's make that water bag what do we need for this i want to make this water bag we need a water water bag before we go i forgot we unlocked that and never never crafted it one second okay we can get all of our stations up here pretty awesome and i'm just gonna try and get everything up on top of our little 
structure here set up, get this all optimized, and we're going on to the next place. I'm going to get enough water to travel to the next, the hard zone. I, th I think that's going to be the best place. Alright, I've got bone fragments, or enough bone fragments and stuff, I think, for the... There we go. Pickaxe. But we've got enough for upgrades, everything that we need. I think we should be pretty Gucci out here. I've been just kind of clearing the camps. Getting all the... Hello, hello. What up, dude? Uh, you say what? What's going on, man? Hello. You see the word, man? Yeah, I don't think he speaks English. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. Let's, let's have some aloe. So the aloe is like water. Seems like all the plants are like water. I've got some in my water bag. Don't really know the point of that, but you know, we've got it here for extra storage. I haven't filled up my storage, so I think we'll it'll be nice along the way, but probably not have to rush the water bag. So. Last, or not last upgrade, but we're getting this going, and now we should be a little bit stronger. And then, is this fast? Is torque, like, is that going to make me faster and stuff like that, I, I assume? That's the last one we need to work on. Oh, make a bed. You can't make a bed if there's no sand? Oh, God, dude, we're going to die. We're going to die. We can't drink this water. I thought we could. But we cannot, in fact, drink it. But I found water. Oh, I died. Don't drink that. That's, don't drink it. Oh, no. Oh, God. Well, I'm back. Took a minute, but we're back. So, uh, come to the water areas that you can see on kind of like the map. And if you grab the uh, gross water here, you toss it in your fight. Whoops. You gotta put it in your bottles. I did find a better bottle. So I can hold 20 of those. Okay, so these cactus are really good for cactus fruit. Or cactus flesh, sorry. But you have to cut every little individual piece. If you cut the... Say you cut one of these little pieces and then you cut the, the middle, the whole thing breaks. So definitely cycle around, get as much as you can. That's been probably the best cactus flesh gather thing that I've encountered so far. Alright, so I filled up on water. We got a ton of water over there. And I found a craftsman module. So you can add modules to your dinghy. And this one increases my crafting speed of every like crafting thing on here. So that's kind of perfect for starting out. So I'm making water out of this. And it's w way more efficient to do this conversion in the desert. Okay, I made it to the trading post. I figured we'd hit this up before we you know, go to the next area, plus it's our mission, so we're here. Now, making water out in the desert is definitely the best way to do it, because it takes, or you can make it a lot faster if there's sand. If it says you need sand in a recipe, you just need to be near or over sand. Are these people? Is this a dude? This is a dude. What's he wearing? How's he sitting like that? Maybe that's a static thing. I haven't seen anybody over near this area, so where do we go here? Let's maybe grab some stuff. Let's just grab some like random stuff to see prices here. Because we need to sell some things to them, so... I don't know what's going to be good, what isn't. I'm trying to put all the, the interesting stuff in the cargo hold, so it's a little bit more secure. But we do have enough water to move on to the next area, too, so we're going to do that next. Okay. And is there an NPC or something I should be talking? Oh, right here. I feel like there should be an NPC here. At least a monkey man. Oh, here. Okay. Drop stuff here. <laughs> this is an interesting UI for a shop, not going to lie. Uh, what is that worth? Nothing. These darts, they're worth nothing. Somebody's fighting out there. 
Can somebody kill me here? Do you like mushrooms? Do you like those mushrooms? Alright, take these mushrooms. Uh, what else can we sell? Maybe this? Really? Nothing. Nothing for that. Okay, we'll sell that. The path around the Maybe world some tier now. one wood. Nothing. Our ancestors what? The, left what? Stones to guide it's like they don't want any good stuff. The oh, stone? Sing, reveal the way. Palm leaf. Okay, so it looks like they buy basic resources. Wood. Fiber. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic stuff. They don't buy, like, the so sophisticated junk. I guess these guys don't, you know, they don't know what's up. Take that, I guess. Cool. We sold it. You're on your, you're on, we're on our own now. All right, that's the tutorial. Thanks, man. All right, we going. We're going to the hard zone, guys. We made it. Ugh. Am I just going to get, like, killed by some giant death worm of the the desert or something coming out here? I feel like I've, I've been seeing less and less people as I've progressed. So I think I'm moving a little bit quicker than other people, which might be good. Because I don't know what the hell is going on over here. Alright, we've got you. Okay. We've su successfully transferred every time. We haven't, like, lost our character or been teleported some, somewhere weird like under the map or something so actually it's been a super bug free experience right, we've got points of interest here it looks like we've got a trader in the middle what is this stalactite or stalagmite whatever I don't know what is this rock straight out of an alien looks weird looks weird dude alright Niberian materials Okay, I constructed a ballista. I constructed pulling things. And we're going to pull this thing. You know, we saw one of these before. And we couldn't do anything about it. What the? No! Please! Wait, what's happening? Okay, maybe I shouldn't pull. Yo, what am I supposed to do here, okay? I'm pull. I'm trying to pull it. It's a very strong box. Maybe just, just wiggle it around a bit. Oh, you know what? We pr probably can just drive, huh? For some reason, I was thinking that if I dismounted that, the ballista would break, but... This is, a, this is an interesting mechanic. Is it damaged? 19 fragments. Okay, these are the ones that we want to do. I guess since you, not, you, you like have to get a ballista and the things... 25 shards to learn how to make rope <laughs> 25 dude i'm so glad we got that one but we need rope for our last upgrade on our thing and that's the torque upgrade i feel like that's probably going to be the most important one it definitely takes the most stuff okay i traversed around the entire freaking desert but we're here the first point of interest i figured we'd hit up this one on the exterior i'm not ready to go inside yet i feel like there's going to be some <clears throat> maybe difficult to kill stuff or, or something like that so what do we have here i see no enemies what are these point of interest all about huh? what's going on here i see nothing oh there's a loot thing over there Let me go hit up that oh we got one right here too Okay, so there's actually quite a few loot containers here. All the basic ones, you know, just giving you basic resources. Um, you've also got the the skeleton. So we've got the wait, what? What just happened to my axe? Um, I did get an upgraded axe as well. I just kind of well, I learned it and crafted it. So we've got an upgraded axe, much better than the sticks and other stuff like that. Now, the respawn rate of barrels and stuff here is ridiculous so if you just run around you don't even have to leave the area you just keep running around you're gonna keep finding more and more you could literally just sit here and camp i feel like they should change it but maybe it's intentional to draw pvp to these areas i'm not sure but they just keep respawning we'll use this this uh just to save the durability uh, the durability can't talk yeah see i was just over here i gathered that skeleton i gathered this and now it's back pretty cool so you can just sit here and farm for sure huh? 
How do we get this? No! <laughs> I wanted, I wanted the, the beehive. Okay, there's quite a few beehives around here. I thought I would have to hit it to break it and get it, but I guess not. Oh, I need to scroll down. Look at harvest. Eight beeswax. There we go. Okay. I was really getting confused as to how to get that. I don't know what it's for, but... Okay, so these, these plants here give cotton, but only if you use a sickle. If you actually pick it by hand, it doesn't give you anything. Because I was grabbing them, and they were just giving me fiber. So I'm set up here. We're going to stay in this area here for a bit. I moved a little bit more interior on this island. We're going to put our base right here. There's a lot of fiber. There's a ton of, like, little interactable things. Okay, I'm starting to build the base. I want to get at least an enclosed base set up and see kind of like how hard that is. It's actually pretty intensive, guys. Like, building just this structure alone takes a lot of fiber. Like, a lot of fiber. Like, the wood doesn't seem to be the biggest issue, but I can only make so many of these at a time. Like, the fiber really... You get three per plant with a sickle. Come here, bro. Okay, the next thing we need to learn here is the torch. We need a torch. Do you, you might not... Do you see why I need a torch, guys? If you're wondering why I need a torch... This is why. <laughs> Jesus, man. Night is ridiculous. This dude tried to come up on me. Fight me at night. We need one more wall. Here we go. Oh, it's nice that we can use the torch and, and that... I, I didn't see any lights, like static lights or standing torches. I can't find any standing torches, anything like that. That would have been nice to have. There's no ramps. I gotta figure out this building system, guys. You know, I like to build stuff. Okay. Well, I found out how to get fiber. Oh my god, look at this. Every single one of these little... You wanna fight? You wanna fight? No, no, no. I'm getting this combat system, yo. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. So, uh, yeah. These plants, every one of those gives fiber. It's crazy. There's just these white death dudes everywhere. And it gives corn, too, which gives water. Okay, we just need one more ceiling segment with that corn over there like right down in the valley oh so he's our two more segments actually let's clear this wood that's a big boy now this place is cool this guy's got a massive sword oh my god am i gonna die to this so blocking is definitely key and i'm failing at it he doesn't do that much i guess Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, that could have been bad. Alright, let's heal up. There's a whole bunch of them here. I already cleared out like six, dude. Tons. Definitely worth it, though. He's he, Seven shards from him? Okay. We've got one of those investigate sites, too. Anything else? Okay, this is a large one. One, wait, what did that say? What was that? I got this pouch, by the way. Really nice. You can put, like, resources and stuff in it. What was that? Oh, it's a backpack, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. Dude. This is a game changer. Wow, I didn't know that that existed, but you can get them as loot as well. That is awesome. I was just having some problems with inventory, too. Dude, that guy looks like an orc. Legit an orc from Lord of the Rings. Don't know what this guy's on about. I like their... I like the AI. It's good. Uh, it's, like, hard enough to where it can for sure kill you if you're not on your A game. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know what this thing is. Ancient Fabricator. 
Oh, okay. Needs torque. I need to put torque in here to do something with this. Okay, so I unlocked the hammock. It was 25 points to unlock this thing, but it's a respawn in your house, basically. So I want to get this thing set up. Very important to us. Now, you need... Let's see here. Water. This thing. This grab... You need to get the grappling thing. It changes life. Like, literally, the, the biggest issue I had with the game was getting on tier. Freaking walker with that hook is terrible. I hate it. I hate it. But this thing makes life so much better. Sorry, I forget the name of it, but if you look in the parts, it's just like the thing that helps you get up onto the walker. It's it's there. So I want to get all the crafting stations set up so we know how to get all the resources and stuff like that. It's, it's probably the most important thing. Let's be real. Let me put this in here the corn's really good it gives you water like the aloe or, or something like that and the fiber gains from the corn fields dude oh my god it's crazy i want to get this hammock worked on though okay i'm gonna stock up on water out here this dude's eyeing me he's eyeing me man come here all right Loot. Loot him, yo. Okay. So, we've got water over here. What is this? What? What was that? Dude. Oh, God. Oh, no. Yellow roop. Okay. Well, he just flew in the air. That was weird. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and avoid that yellow rupu thing as we get water. We need to just fill up with as much as physically possible. Get these all stocked. It takes a bit to collect it, though. It's, and it takes forever to cook it when you're not in the desert, so... Get it all into the storage down below like that. Pull it out up here. Toss it in the cooker. Yeah, it cooks really slow inside of there. It's back, it's back, it's back. Oh no. Alright, you wanna fight? Let's go. Let's just be let's be calm about this. It's a big boy club, man. Stunt or uh, hit lock him. Let's go. Didn't even hit me. What up, yellow rupu? What you got for me, bro? Oh, I don't know what this stuff is. Probably good, though. Ceramic shard. All right. Well, this is my pond now. Oh, these cattails. Important. Very, very important. Get these for everything. You make rope from it. Alright, I got tons of cattails trying to stock up on these. It's how you make rope in the fiber working station here. And rope is pretty much what we needed. Pretty much what we needed for everything. Now we can put the torque uh, thing on here. Okay, so this, the tier 2 upgrades take 16 shards for getting all the upgrades on our thing. I got the torque thing now so we gotta figure out what that exactly does i've got tons of water here cooking we've got ropes just crafting up so these high like higher difficulty areas definitely the way to go definitely the place to be okay now we're like building up torque or there's a torque thing there dude what what just dude are you kidding me Yo, where'd you just come from, man? I didn't kill your brother. You didn't kill me. I'm gonna die here. Let's just get him stuck in that anime. Okay, he can't swing if I just keep swinging, dude. 
You wanna, you wanna jump on my walker? Huh? Huh? Let's go. Oh god. Oh god. What's up? What you got for me? You just wanna give me some more loot? Same, same thing as the last one gave. I'm pretty sure that's exactly the same, right? Okay. Well, they respawn. It seems. <laughs> uh. All right. Hammock. 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 Where are we putting the hammock? Actually, let's not. We're not gonna RP this. We're gonna put it here so that we can solidify. We can put another wall here if we need to. You know what I mean? We can fortify this room. All right, hammock. We've done it, and now. Okay, so it takes 10 water per respawn. That's actually very good. Look at how much water this thing can hold, too. So we, st we stock that thing up with water, and then we don't have to use 20 water to spawn at our walker. We can use those as, as like, you know, last line. Um, now, we have torque built up inside of here. It builds up as you, as you drive, and we're going to need a torque battery to be able to harness the torque from it. Um, not sure what we're gonna use the torque for. Well, actually, that ancient apparatus thing that we went to, that I put the shard into, we need 10 torque in that to convert the shards into something I don't know. But, torque's gonna be important. Very important. Alright, I'm just trying to get the last of what we need for shards to unlock the torque battery and the stomping station stomping station we need the stomping station to make earth wax i think i hope it's actually what i'm hoping 19 fragments these are definitely the best uh all right let's just fight okay we need a bit more for all of our tier two upgrades i got another oh we can't Oh, we need level 10 in our... Okay, I know what that is. So we, if we get level 10, we can add this second craft in, craftsman module that I got onto this. Where is it? So if we do it on this dinghy, does that just count for all of our dinghy walkers then, I hope? So this is the point of getting those coins that we got at the trader. We want to use them to buy upgrades for our walker level, it looks like. And then at 10, we can add a second thing. One of these monkeys is like tripping out down here. He's having a he's having a grand old time. Okay, yeah. We need to get all these tier two upgrades here too. Okay, I farmed up enough shards to get bone a bone sword, which it looked like that's what everybody was saying was the way to go for, for PvP and stuff like that. So we've got a bone sword. Definitely does more damage. A little easier to clear out these camps too. Make sure you get all those vines. That's what I'm kind of running out of. Need to find like a way to make them or something. Huge cactus fruit and three glass. These are the good uh, places. You come here, get these large urns. Th these actually give good loot. Okay, I finally unlocked the stomping station. And we're going to put it up here. We'll eventually get more walls, you know, get this a second level. Or we would. I don't think we're going to have enough time uh, before they wipe the content creator servers. But... That's what I would do. So, we can put stuff inside of here. What can we put in here? Stones? Okay. Stones make sand. I need earth wax. I need earth wax. So we need to figure out what the hell gives earth wax. Can we put sand back in? We cannot put sand back in. Okay. It's got a little border around it. That's weird. Fiber? We cannot. No. Okay. Let's try mushrooms. I'm just finishing a water one. If you put the large cactus, large cactus fruit in there, it gives a lot of water. And this is earth wax. Look at that. Okay, mushrooms. So you put mushrooms in the stomping station, and you've got earth wax. You need earth, earth wax for, like, the upgrades. Okay, we can make the torque battery now. Got that earth wax. And now we should be able to harness torque to be able to use those those ancient machine thingies. I want to make this soil excavator too. Alright, so I, f I don't know how to harness. How do I get this? How do I actually use this thing? Give me the torque. Where do I put this? 
kind of the only bad thing of no guides or anything being out. Oh, I've equipped it. Oh, it equips to your, uh... Alright, I saw what happened there. It equipped to my... Pouch slot. Okay, there we go. Alright, now with the, the torque thing figured out, there's one more thing that I want to figure out before... You know, I feel like we've gotten really far. We've got all the crafting stations, we've got... Our bone sword, got our ballista, but now I've got fire arrows. So let's see how these fire bolts work. It's nighttime, so it's perfect. Let's see if this thing like lights on fire or something. Uh, it was quite a few upgrades and things along the way to get the the fire bolts. So I feel like it's gonna be more advanced. Hopefully, give us more loot than oh shoot, that didn't break it. Oh, looks like it's actually. These gonna mess with me. I think they're I think they got stuck. Is it doing damage over time? Little anticlimactic, not gonna lie with the fire. I'd like more flames, obviously, but you know. It is doing damage over time. I hope that this one is enough to break this whole container. It's getting dark too. I think it's actually gonna make it. This guy's just stuck over here. Thirty fragments. Thirty. Yes, that's definitely worth it. Those are really good. You have to wait a bit, you know, and sit and wait for it to cook and whatnot, but definitely worth. Okay, guys, so my time is my time is done here. I started to make a second level, kind of got that going. We got our walker all looking nice. We've got armor. We've got a backpack. I did get the upgraded armor, so I, all this is doable solo. You can do all of this stuff in in a day if you if you like no life for a day. You could definitely get armor, you know. You can get your bone sword, upgraded walker, all that. Get to the hard zone. It's not too bad. Definitely doable as a solo player. Yeah, you can't man guns and all that stuff um, with a group, but there are auto stuff. There's there's auto stuff. We're gonna get to. We're definitely gonna be doing more of this, and we'll we'll get to that stuff definitely. I will we'll try and see how we do solo. You know what I mean? But I've been having a lot of fun. We've upgraded our stuff. I like Last Oasis, guys. You should definitely check it out. Okay, so I packed up the base. And we're off to the edge of the, the world to let our stuff just go into the abyss. But I did get a lumberjack module here that you add to your craft. And look at Just running over trees gathers wood. I think if you have a ton of these just going through a forest, it'd be amazing. Anyway, I had a blast. Hope you guys did too. Hope you like the longer one. I just wanted to do like one big one. We'll do a whole series on this as we go. But anyway, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And or... Ah, uh, dude, I messed up my outro again. Two videos in a row. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Catch you next time.